Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi in this video we are going to present about applications of gravimetric analysis firstly we would like to introduce ourselves my name is Nodia Nadira and my metric number is 20214729589 hi my name is Anissa Jamiti Gani and my metric number is 20216091 Hi, my name is Nura Nadira Shamila Binti Sukifli. My matrix number is 20218462204. Hi, my name is Nura Fatuna Binti Rosli with my matrix number 20218851888. What is gravimetric analysis? Gravimetric analysis is a quantitative analytical technique used to distinguish the quantity of a certain substance contained in a sample by measuring its mass. It is based on the principle that the mass of the substance and the quantity are directly proportional. The analyte is converted into a solid compound of known composition using this process and the mass of the product is determined. I will talk about the theory of phosphorus. Phosphorus is a chemical element with the symbol P and atomic number 15 that power source of the plant. A quantitative technique called gravimetric analysis works by calculating the mass of a pure component to which the analyte is chemically connected. The process involves selectively converting the analyte to an insoluble precipitate which is then properly weighed after being dried or burned. The three nutrients of plant is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are all present in plant base. 15% nitrogen, 30% phosphorus pentoxide, and 15% potassium oxide are typically found in plant food. According to the process, phosphorus will be measured by precipitating the insoluble salt, magnesium, ammonium, phosphate, hexahydrate. So, for the general methodology in precipitation gravimetry, it requires six basic steps, which are preliminary treatment, precipitation, filtering, washing off, drying, weighing, and calculation. Let's take a closer look on the application of the methodology in gravimetry analysis in the plant food. As you can see in the flow diagrams, the steps required in this application are so simple and easy. At the first place, the analyte in the solid form was prepared in the preliminary step by dissolving the food plant with the chemical reagents such as magnesium sulfate. After that, the insoluble salt analyte, magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate was acquired in the precipitation method. Then, the insoluble salt was separated through the filtration process and washed off. The salt then dried off, weighed and calculated. Much more for the explanation, you can refer to the illustrated diagram provided in the slide. In the step 1, the solute that prepared in the preliminary step, the dissolved plant food, was mixed together with magnesium sulfate chemical and ammonia precipitating reagent. Upon the reaction, you can see the white precipitate of magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate insoluble salt that form at the bottom of the beaker. Then, the precipitate was filtered off using the filter paper. The precipitate was washed several times with deionized or pure water. The, insol the insoluble salt then was carefully scraped off from the filter paper into a dish and got dried. At the end, the dried product will be weighed and calculated. Last but not least, the example result from gravimetric analysis application was the phosphorus in the gravimetric analysis of phosphorus in the plant food. In summary, gravimetric analysis is one of the best techniques for process measurement. One of the applications is to determine the percentage of phosphorus in plant foods. This analysis offers several advantages such as accurate results, simplicity, and accessibility. While the disadvantages is time consuming. Thank you for listening and have a great day.